Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today I'm doing a very special review. I'll do short reviews of three products in a single video. And no, don't stop watching this video. You'll get to hear one of my funny voices in this video. Each buyer has provided me with three products. The Sheng Yu BM800 condenser microphone, an infrared thermometer and some white LED strips. Thank you each buyer for making these reviews possible. I'll start with the infrared thermometer. It's very lightweight, comes with this rubber feel and is fairly cheap in terms of pricing. This device requires a single 9 volt battery and it sits right under this cover here. Don't worry, the battery is already included. To measure the temperature, just pull the trigger and you'll get to see the laser beam. Make sure you don't stare into the laser and don't point it at other people. This thermometer can display temperatures in Celsius as well as in Fahrenheit. The temperature range goes from minus 50 to plus 380 degrees Celsius, but I've done some testing and I reached 480 degrees without any problems. An infrared thermometer can be really useful and this specific model has no flaws in my opinion, and I definitely recommend it. Next up we'll take a look at the LED strips. You get them on this wheel here. The ones I have here are white. The strips are very well made. These are the controls for the different LED modes. To power on the LED strips, you'll need a DC 12 volt power supply. In my case, I'll just use a computer power supply to hook these up. As you can see, the LEDs are really bright and you get some pretty amazing modes to choose from here. Even some really fast ones. I also measured the power consumption and it's about 25 to 27 watts for a whole roll. I don't really have anything to complain here and can definitely recommend these LED strips. You can use them for your computer, your car or even some house decoration. Now on to the last product, the microphone. This is the Sheng Yu BM800 condenser microphone. This mic can be used for studio recordings. It's available in different colors, I've got the blue version obviously. The microphone casing is completely out of metal and there's no preamp here. There are BM800 models out there that come with a preamp inside the mic in form of a AA battery. This is not the case here. Of course you'll get this professional mic holder, it's really good. Oh and there's the form to reduce the windy pronunciations. The mic makes use of the phantom power connection, but ends with a 3.5mm jack on the other end. Unfortunately, I didn't get the preamped version, because I don't have any amplifiers. I just connected the mic to my Canon 600D DSLR and amplified it there, but the Canon 600D really produces a lot of static noise. So just ignore the static noise, it's the camera that produces the noise, not the mic. With a proper amp, there shouldn't be a problem at all. And now I guess you'd like to hear some testing with this mic, right? I tried to do some singing because this mic kinda looks like a radio slash singing microphone. However, I can't sing at all, but still, this makes it more entertaining for you. You'll probably laugh at me, but whatever. First I'll do a piece of Manowar's King of Kings song and then King Diamond's The Family Ghost, where I fail miserably. I normally do a little better, but my voice wasn't in a good shape and it's pretty much a one take without any warm ups. Have fun. As my sword is my soul, then let all who stand before me know I bring a storm and magic wind, the kingdom of the kings. The darkness comes closer to home on a following night And Miriam slept like a rock when Jonathan's face went white The bedroom was ice cold but a fire was burning still The blind in light the family ghost had risen again Where Abigail rest, 
Let Miriam sleep. She would never understand. Now come, let us go. It's time to know. <laughs> so yeah, my singing really sucked, but the mic sounds really clear. I can definitely recommend the Sheng Yu BM800 condenser microphone if you have a proper amp for it. Once again, thank you each buyer for providing me these products and making these reviews possible. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.